Hello everyone, it's Captain McGuire here, back with another of one of my builds. Obviously we've got a hyperflex in the background, but no, we don't need that. Um, no, we've got to do an update on the main uh, gaming and streaming machine. Now, the problem that we've got is that my lovely... Oh, I can get... Hang on, I'll open it so you can see it. Lovely, Bit Phoenix fan controller is great it looks good and that but there's one problem it uh, it doesn't control anymore the software doesn't work on Windows 10 anymore and when you go look up the software it is not supported so I can't find the original software for it but and I found some third-party software unfortunately that doesn't control it either that well so I think it's time for an upgrade and we are going to upgrade it. Sorry about the cables, but I've been busy. There's been lots and lots of things happening with this and trust me, we'll have cleaner builds in the future as uh, we'll be changing site. We'll be changing houses eventually. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all this. So we're going to go with an extra fan in there. I'm going to build some brackets out of these to fit the fan as well as um, because where the bit phoenix controller is right there um, the guys when I got this case originally um, fitted a CD drive and didn't give me the extra blanking plate so I've got my mate ultra noob to make up a couple of plates for me to try and use the nice Asus logo to match my hardware inside. Whoop! Now I can stay there. And we've got a lovely new ML 120 fan and a Corsair Commander Pro. That's all going in there. This is going to be fun. All right, guys. So we're going to start out with the uh, plate on this one. So our blanking plate here, which is very nice work by Mr. Ultra Noob much appreciated but the problem that we've got at the moment is it's only slightly too big so it's only half a mil bigger so we need to be at around about 43 millimeters and at the moment i'll get my vernier calipers here so you can see we are at around about i don't know sorry i got glare about 44 so what we'll do is we're gonna take it down a little bit on a bit of um, sandpaper I haven't done this in a while but and we'll polish it up so I've got about 360 P um, grit and I've got an 800 grit to bring this down so let's see, let's see just give it a polish up so we can uh, fit it to the machine so you'll get a bit of a time lapse and yeah here we go
Okay, guys, now I've done all the sanding, as you can see. All dirt in that. You probably get a little bit of a thing. It's now just getting all the burrs off, which I can just do with my nail. There you go. And we'll just clean it up now, and it should be good to go to the computer. And we have taken the front cover off the computer. It usually just, obviously, the side panels too, and it needs a clean. So I might have to do that at some point. I might have to see if I can find some filters for those two fans, but that's not too hard. All right, so we've got the back panel, we've got the front panel off. Might need another little clean as well. And since I'm putting in a Seuss thing, the gigabyte stick can go. So it can get it go, but we have finished this. Now I did give it a little bit of a test fit inside and it is a very, very tight fit. Very tight. It only just fits in there. But I'll try and do it one handed. Yeah, it's a very, very tight fit. And I was thinking about doing some, uh, oh, sorry, there we go. Okay, so I was thinking about doing some glue in the back just to hold it. And I'm, because once I do this, it's never coming back out. There's no point of it anymore. PCs don't use... PCs don't use the five and a quarter inch bays, and I might just adapt them to hold some hard drives if I can get it to work. But I am going to put a fan behind it so it gives it some illumination. And yeah, that's about it. And yes, I am relaxing, and you might have seen some thongs. It is the start of the year, and the Gigabyte logo will go. All right. And. Hang on, where did he come from? Don't want him flying around the system. <laughs> Just a little bit of a clean. Just make sure. looks clean All right because this guy this guy's going and we're going to remove some a few other cables here and it'll clean it up i'm sorry for the ketchup and mustard that's what i got at the moment but we'll clean it up rerun some cables at the back and yeah it'll just clean up the uh whole look two seconds later all righty guys it's out we have the controller out now we've got to get all that out Fun. A few moments later. Okie dokie guys. We now have the Big Phoenix controller out of the case. We even gained a few little bits and pieces and extras. So, yes. The cabling is going to need to be, have some work done. But, at this stage, we're getting there. We're getting there. So... Let's see how we go. Our Commander Pro. Now I've been thinking I either in there flat and have the cables run through down the back there. Just through a little corner. Yep, just so you guys can see. So down through this little corner here. Or even come through one of these side panels. Otherwise, maybe we paste it on the back there, but it means we won't have problems with running cables. Otherwise, if we can run them all through these, we might be able to use these cable mounts. On that, I'll have a look and see what we can do. Commander. Commander Pro is in and the old one's out and there's wiring I need to clean up so 
So now there's a big old air gap in. I've got some of these plates, which I'm going to make some brackets out to fit a fan in. But eventually, yeah. So now we're up to rewiring. Many hours later. Okay, guys. Now that the wiring has been completed, and we'll take it for a test run before. Yeah, my desk is an absolute pigsty at the moment trying to fix this. I will be cleaning it off and it'll be nice and clean. But let's give it a test run. Now that fan runs off the controller and those two at the top both run off the controller. So I think we're pretty good. So we're going to get the covers back on and then we can start reprogramming. All right, guys, I've only just finished gluing the lovely logo in, which is good. And then we'll fit this all up and give it a test run. All right, thanks for joining us. We've got the case back together now. It's looking sweet, looking fly. Got the new face blade in, looking sexy. Again, all the fans seem to be working. And what we'll do is next time we'll do the fan in the front in this bay here that way we get more airflow into the cooler so and it'll look more like a modern case but until then i'll catch everyone later and yeah it's late i'm going to bed see ya